Well, if anything changes, call me right away. Ryan's still unconscious. Frankie says to be patient, but I can't. Ryan's in excellent hands. Okay, he'll be all right. You missed a bunch of calls while you were out. Uh, most of them from Reese. She really wants to talk to you. Thanks. I could get her on the line for you. Uh, no, that's okay. Reese said it was really important. I know it's important. I'm handling it. Angela, I am not comfortable leaving you here like this. Jesse. Listen. If you keep shadowing me like this, David is going to get suspicious. I... Now, he, he... He's seen you here once already, okay? And he... I, I don't want him to know about any of this. Not yet. David, you were losing more and more of your sight every day. And you're doing nothing to save it. I'm saving our baby. Look, I know how difficult this is for you. Difficult. Really? You refuse to take the medication that could keep you from going blind? I refuse to take medication that could harm our unborn child. And you refuse to accept that. Angela, you are brave, you are strong, but you also have to be realistic. This sacrifice that you want to make here is just so huge. I don't see it that way. Because this infection, this disease may take my vision, but that's it. I will have a healthy baby. I will live my life. I can do this, Jesse. I want to help. Then trust me. Trust me to handle what's ahead, okay? Because my confidence is growing every day. But Jesse, if you keep looking over my shoulder all the time, it's, 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 it's gonna undermine that confidence. Now, I know that you are doing this out of love, sweetheart, but what I really need you to do is just... Hey, hey. everything all right? Mm. Your father and I are just discussing my competence. Look, if I need help, Frankie is here. Jake is here. So you need to go and do what you need to do. Like reschedule that meeting with Maya Blanco. Convince her to lift this ridiculous suspension so that you can go back to work. Go back to your routine. Like I'm doing. If you need anything... I will call. All right. Keep your eye on her, all right? Do me a favor. I love you, Chief Albert. I love you too, baby. I love you too. I love you too. I'm serious. I need you to keep your eye on her. Look, you know mom doesn't like to be watched, and I'm certainly not trying to get strangled by her stethoscope when she catches me doing it. Franklin, your mother is not doing enough to take care of herself right now. I need you to pick up the slack. All right, so what's going on with this looking into alternative treatments? Have you found anything? I helped mom do some research. We discussed the options with Dr. Belden this morning. And? And, uh... They're not viable while she's pregnant. Keep on it. Find something. Hey, hey. Hey, how's Angie? Mm. She still won't even consider taking the meds, even though she knows how you feel? Time to me, I can say something. I won't push, but I... She has made her choice. You deserve a choice, too. Angela is the most capable woman I've ever met. But she is a doctor. And the way she does her job is about to change drastically. Now, if she can't see a symptom or when a child winces in pain, it's going to wreck her world. And she's acting as if it's not going to be a problem. But I can smell the hurt coming from a mile away. Well, you know, when Mom was sick, Angie was there every step of the way, to the very end. If there's anything you need, I am on it. Yeah, well, if I could tell her 24-7, I would, but... I need my job back. Turns out Angela can't work. I need to be getting paid, you know? It's Mayor Black meeting with the substitute chief. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you doing here? I am asking for my job back. Hey, hey, where are you going? 
going to see Ryan. Oh, well, I've already examined him. He's fine. Why wasn't I told that Ryan had a setback? Jesse's been treating me like a fragile flower. I don't need it from you, too. Okay? I'm not fragile. I'm pregnant. Okay. And furthermore, I am still chief of staff at this hospital. I can do my job and be here for my friend. Clear? Yeah, loud and clear. How is he? N never mind. No, 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 no. Listen, Greenlee's in with him, okay? And, and this could this could take a little time, so. What is going on? Why don't you want me to go and see nothing, Ryan? Nothing is going on. That's the truth. Nothing's going on. I mean, you have a lot going on, but he's fine. You got to trust me when I tell you he's fine. You got to hear me when I tell you you look kind of tired. You look kind of exhausted. Look, it's, 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 I'm having this damn morning sickness, which is really morning, noon, and night sickness. Mm -hmm. And my vision's gone out more since I stopped taking the meds. A decision my husband is fighting me on every step of the way. So, yes, Jake, I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have anything to prove to me or anybody else, okay? You just have to take care of yourself. And you gotta take care of the baby. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Hey. I'm fine. And you can tell your father I said so. All right, don't strangle me. No, I'm gonna strangle you if you don't take her home. She needs a little rest. All right. All right, but only because I'd, I'd rather be nauseous at home. Okay, well, that's better than being nauseous here. Leave that to the patients. Let's be honest here. The reason I was suspended, the only reason I was suspended was David Hayward. And you won't let me back on the force unless I agree to stop hounding him. You were suspended because you broke rules. You used your position and a great deal of taxpayer money to advance some personal agenda. I mean, a mistake? That will never happen again. Okay, so you admit you abused your power as chief. Yes. So, if I were to reinstate you, I'd have your word that this issue won't come up. That 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 from now on you'll dedicate yourself and the resources of this department to legitimate police work. Well, that's what I do best. If you're willing to take that pledge and you're willing to reform your behavior. I'll think about it. I'll let you know. Thank you, Mayor. Well, that was hard. Oh, what a hypocrite. So, so proud of you. You did it. it. It took a lot, but you did it. And for damn good reason. The best reason in the world. Right over there. What, what are you doing? I want you to sit down, relax, put your feet up. I'm going to make you a gourmet lunch. So when did you learn how to cook? Uh, see, now that's what this is for. Ah, uh, you mm. see. Mm. That's sweet, honey, but I'm not hungry. You know, your father is so worried about how this is all going to shake out. But I'm not. And how is that possible? You know how. You're a doctor. We see people exceed our expectations every day. Hard work, patience, faith. Faith can take you further than we ever thought possible. You know, when I got back from Iraq and my hands were really messed up, you gave me a hard time. But you were right there. You've always been there for me. So now it's my turn. You want to know what you can do for me? Name it. You can go back to your own life. Do good work. Be with Randy. I mean, she's been traveling. You need time together. Mom. You ask me what you could do, and that's my answer. All right. I'll go, but don't think I'm not coming back. You better come back.